this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And if that light go out, then I'm replacing mine. I can't give up, no, I can't give in. Got so much fight within, I must win. That's no holding back, gotta go all in. Two steps forward, no steps back, then repeat again. Sometimes you gotta let go and let go. Respect those who work hard, it's teamwork, play your part. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of For Your Inspiration and today we're going to be talking about the foundation of happiness and when it comes to happiness, we first must define our happiness we have to actually define what happiness means to us define what happiness looks like in our lives and let me go ahead and get this out the way right now you being content or you being satisfied, that is not happiness being content and satisfied is they completely different things when it comes to talking about your happiness. I mean, you can easily be content saying that you know you wanted a you wanted a brand new car, and instead of getting the 2014 model you wanted, you got the 2009 model. Now, granted, you're happy that you have a car to get you from point A to point B. You're content that you got a new vehicle, but in actuality, you're not really you're not happy. You're not enthusiastic. You're not very energetic. You're not excited about what you got because. You wanted a 2014 model, but instead you got the 2009 model. So of course you're grateful, but you're not happy. Then when it comes to being satisfied, you know, you're basically saying it's good enough, but it's not what you wanted. Like I said, we have to, in our lives, we have to understand that the different things in our lives, it's all up to us. We define the things in our lives, what we want. So if we're allowing other people to define what our happiness looks like, to define what success looks like for us, then it's going to be, we're going to have a very hard time trying to, trying to reach that level of success or trying to reach that level of happiness. It comes down to everything that you, I can't tell you what makes you happy only you can tell you what makes you happy it could be something as simple as getting a high school diploma or getting a college degree or it could be getting it getting that big time job promotion whether it's finding that great um, young lady or young man to be in a relationship with and you know you're getting married and, and having a, a house full of children or whatever the case may be but whatever happiness is in your life you have to make sure that you define it and you don't let anybody else define what happiness is to you because if that's the case you're never going to reach that happiness level in your life and you have to stop Stop cheating yourself and telling yourself that you're happy when you're only content. You have to quit cheating yourself and telling yourself you're happy when you're only satisfied. Satisfaction and being content, that's not the same thing as happy. So I challenge you guys today to define your happiness. So Tony Jr. has told you about he's defined happiness, but now once you define happiness, you've got to discover your own happiness. And the truth of the matter is, what you discover that is your happiness may not line up with everybody else's happiness. And that's okay because it's yours. You've discovered it because it's for you. And too often we try to do things that other people want us to do or be in places or statuses that other people want us to do and we're not happy. That's why sometimes parents tell the children to go off and get a job or, or go to college and start working for somebody when deep down inside they may be entrepreneurs. And so they don't do so. Sometimes you're trying to get degrees because of the money and not because of the happiness. <laughs> I know I hit a lot of people out there with that. So you've got to get to a point in your life where you discover what makes you happy and start doing those things that make you happy. Because I can tell you this, once you're doing the things that make you happy, you become more productive and you're easier to be around. So discover your happiness. After you've defined your happiness and after you've discovered your happiness, the next thing you have to do, you have to defend your happiness. Because like I, like I told you earlier today, your happiness is not going to look like everybody else's happiness. Some people are going to be happy that you're working towards your happiness. It's like some people are going to be happy that you're working towards your success, working towards your high school diploma, um, working towards your college degree, or about to get this big job promotion. But everybody in your life, they're not going they're not going to be happy for you. So you have to defend your happiness. It's going to be so many different obstacles and trials and tribulations that's going to come in your life and you're going to have to stand up and say, I will not let you stop me from getting to this happiness level in my life. So many times we get bogged down and we get discouraged because it does. everything does not go according to plan. Everything does not follow the script that we wrote. And I'm here today to tell you that everything will not go according to plan. Everything will not be said verbatim 
verbatim from the script that you wrote. So it's your job to defend it, to block out all the haters, block out all the naysayers, block out everything that's distracting you, whether it's something that you're doing that may be distracting yourself or if it's, it's outside sources that's in your ear saying, you can't do this, you're too small to do this, you're too tall, you're, you're not good enough to do this or that. Whatever it is, you have to make sure you defend it. You have to stand up for what you believe in because you've already defined what your happiness is. And I'm here today to tell you, if you don't defend your happiness, you'll never get to your happiness. So if you let somebody discourage you from getting to what will ultimately make you happy in your life, you're never going to get to where you're trying to get to in your life. So make sure that after you've defined and after you've discovered it, you learn how to defend it and you put up the biggest fight that you can so you can ultimately get to your happiness. Okay, so we define happiness. You discovered your own happiness. And you're even able to defend happiness. But now we're at the final phase. And that is where we've got to deliver happiness. If happiness is on the inside of you, it's got to come out. And if it comes out, that is going to deliver happiness all over you. You've got to exude happiness so that other people can catch it. Your happiness has to be contagious, just like the cold that people have. You've got to be contagious with happiness. You've got to deliver it to everybody you come in contact with. they got to know that you've got the great attitude, that you've got the great disposition because of your happiness. When people are happy, People around them experience happiness also. So you've got to deliver it. No matter what's going on in your life, you've got to deliver happiness because I believe, and I believe you believe, that once you have that happiness in you, you can also push happiness upon other people. Now granted, there are going to be somebody that is going to try to mess up your happiness, but you've defended that. And But you've got to get to the point where you're delivering happiness in everybody's life because they see it written on you. And remember, you can never...